there guys and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now in the previous episode we got a little bit of work done. Probably not as much as I would have liked to have really. Uh, but my head wasn't quite in the game um, in the previous episode. And if you missed that then uh, make sure you check it out. And then come back to this one or watch this one and then go to that one. Whichever way around you want to do it. Um, now our landing pod we repurposed into a land vehicle and it's been okay. It still has issues though where it bottoms out. Um, there's really not much ground clearance in that. Even if I put the suspension on full strength, it still bottoms out in some areas which can cause problems. Today, I want to repurpose this again. Now, yes, it, at this time it's a land vehicle. I want to now convert this into a miner so there's a few preparations i'm gonna have to do to be able to do that and uh because really i don't think i really need um actually i might build this platform out a little bit more so let's lock it up again um i don't really need a land vehicle at this time once i've got the air vehicle built i should be fine now if i look in here if we're going to the refinery i have a reasonable amount of resources going now iron uh doesn't look like a lot there however i've got quite a few resources built up here ready to go and that's going to be good now because this has already got four thrusters already on it because i didn't take them off I can repurpose them as well, which will save me on resources. So I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, so I can give myself some space to work, I'm going to remove these. And then I'm going to expand this out a little bit more again. So I've got enough space to work on to uh, build the miner. Okay. So I think that should give me enough space to work on. So what I'm going to do is going to detach. Then I'm going to bring this forward. Let's park it. And then I'm going to need to do a couple of modifications to it. Now, I don't have any landing gear on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the work on it now. And then come back back to um, how I'm going to get the landing gear on it. Um, I'll also want to remove this as well. So let's just make sure there's nothing in there. Nope. So I'm going to remove that. Check the storage, make sure there's nothing in there. So I'm acting more okay, care, I can remove that. And then I want to come around here. I'm going to remove the seat. Had a radio come in there. Let's pull that away in here. Uh, where are you? Put them in there. Don't really need them out at that moment. Also going to take off the solar panel because I have the ability to recharge without it. So that'll uh, free up that area. And if I look inside, I think I've got some parts in there that I can take out as well. Um, see, can I? Will it let me in? New. Right, I'll tell you what, remove the R detector. So that'll probably just get in the way. And let's just remove these up here. Just so I can get access to the internals. So parachute hatch. Do a quick repair, see if that unlocks anything. No, it hasn't so. Yeah, fair enough. Got gravel there. Alright. Don't really need the gravel, so I'm gonna send the gravel on its merry way. Inventory Gravel. Go be free gravel or not. Okay. Right. Let's get back in here. Now before I carry on, over there is the auto generator, and that's gonna actually have excess weight that I don't want so what I want or need to do um, 
first of all, I'll deposit some of these parts in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick little change to my base. Um, survival kit, I think I'm going to relocate that and then I'm going to put the auto and uh, H2O generator on it. So let's get some of these and then head down here. I'm going to expand this out a bit more here. Right, so now we've got plenty of space there. I'm going to just make sure to recharge everything. And then we'll make sure that the survival kit doesn't have anything in it. So let's go in here, refinery, assembler, survival kit is empty. So I'm going to grind this down. And I think what we'll do is we will build the survival kit he over here so let's find survival survival kit and then I want the uh, O2 generator there so let's place that facing that way and then we will want the survival kit no survival kit there place that there get it welded up like that and then see what we need for that so if I go in here so actually let's G uh, O2 and then I'm gonna add that to my build planner let's clear that off it and then if I Try and remember what it is that I need. There we go. So by uh, putting that on my build planner, I, that, this will now craft up all the resources that I need and allow me to get on with that. So that means I've got an empty space in here, but that won't be empty for long because I will want to upgrade this refinery and the, the new refinery will be much bigger. Uh, if I remember rightly, it's, uh, I think it's two by two by or tall or something something like that anyway so it's going to be, take up a considerable amount of space so that won't always be empty and this connector here I will be removing that as well make sure there's nothing in it no there's nothing it's fine uh, make sure that there's nothing in that and then I'll grind that off because I will need to be able to mount on top with the refiner so let's go in here, uh, assembler, let's grab everything, there we go, um, before I take this apart what I want to do is grab the ice and the oxygen bottle and I'm going to put that into here, like so, and that means now my uh, survival kit is now relocated. I've got a new auto generator, so I won't need to worry about this one in here now. So that'll save a bit of weight and power. So I'm let's remove the light. Grind away the auto generator, like so. In here now, we will. Oh, we got light in there. I could do with taking that light out. There's an internal light in there which I don't really need. So let's get in there. Corner light. Let's take that out. And take that one out of there as well. I uh, think that's everything. So let's weld that back up again. Right. So next thing I need now. I can remove these from my bar. And I'm going to want. Um, a, co a cockpit, I will need a medium cargo container, ah oh, there we go, a medium one, thought there was a medium one, you weren't totally losing my marbles, um, and let's see, thrusters, so I'm going to get an uh, atmospheric thruster on there as well, I will need some conveyors, If I rotate that round, ooh, it's a bit tall. 
Hmm. I could use a smaller cockpit, I guess. But I do like that one. Ah. Alright, tell you what. Let's take that one off. Let's put that one on instead. Six. And rotate it round. Like so. Okay, and then... Uh, if I weld that up... Ah, yeah, the central, right, okay, so what I will need to do, now I've created myself a little bit of a problem here, I think, oh no, I haven't, I'm alright, okay, so I'm going to actually want to try and make it so the container is still somewhat central for balance, right, work to do. Uh, yes, yeah, so I want to, um, I think what I will do is, I will do nine, I'm going to rotate that, interior plate, of course, All right, and let's put that down, and then I want that one to go there, weld them up. And then I will want to put my container in there. I want to make sure it's facing the right way. Like that. Is this moving? Oh, right. No, it's the front suspension's uh, gone down. Right, oh, okay. Right, oh. So that. I can get that welded up, so I'll need more interior plates, displays, and yeah, interior plates and displays. And then, just trying to think what I'm doing exactly here now. So, right, so the container is there, it's not totally central. What? But it'll have to do. Um, the only other way I could have uh, evened it out more is if I had the cockpit come out a little bit more. Uh, but shouldn't be too much of a problem, really. So, I will then, underneath, I will want a connector. But I'm going to wait until I've done a little bit more work. Because I'm going to need to elevate this up. So before we can go out, even though I have the four thrusters here for upwards thrust, I haven't got anything for forward, backwards, left and right. So what I'm going to do, going to grind that away. I think we'll do the same with that. Oh, I think I've just overdone that. Yeah, my inventory's full. Right, I'll tell you what, let's just pop these in there for now. Wait! I just ground it away. It's something I didn't want to grind. God darn it. Alright, I'll fix that in a moment. Right. So, what I will want to do is I will want to put thruster on there. Forward thrust. One. And two. Uh, that will be my forward thrust. I'm going to need something for reverse thrust. So I will come back up here. And then we're going to grind that off. Try not to grind down my uh, cockpit. Like that. And then five make sure we rotate that round because that's the wrong way so that that way and that one there and then i'm going to need some side thrust as well turn it the right way one there 
one there. Now, this is might seem like excessive uh, thrust for such a small ship. Uh, the thing that I've noticed in my previous experience when building these things is sometimes I can get, a, uh, when I'm carrying a heavy load, it can cause the ship, uh, the ship to drift in undesirable directions. And that's something I'm wanting to try and avoid. So let's grind these. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I feel that's going to happen to that one as well. Okay, so I need to make sure I get the materials crafted up for these. So I'm going to get them on the build planner, get the materials together, and we're going to make them. BLB! Right, so all the thrusters are installed. The I haven't got a downward thruster. I'm, I think I, yeah, I could actually put one on here. Let's see if that'll work. So uh, I don't want too much thrust. Right, yeah, that won't attach there because it hasn't got any proper attach points. So um. I suppose we could see how we go because I mean there's natural gravity anyway in the world which will pull us down if need be. Um, although I would like to have that bit of control. So maybe if I put one uh, there. Let's get that made. Uh, don't really need a lot of downward thrust because of the gravity. So it's just enough to get us just down a little bit if we need to. So, uh, means we've now got some empty holes around, which look a bit odd. Uh, but I could, I could patch them up if need be. Right now, I just want to keep it somewhat lightweight. I don't want it to be bogged down with too much weight and uh, armor. So, might just leave it as it is and then tidy it up at a later time. First thing I need to do though is I'm going to need to configure the thrusters. Um, now I've got all these thrusters here which are great but it doesn't include the ones that were originally on there. Now I want them to be toggled on. Um, showing block terminal, yes I'm going to have them enabled there. So if I come here now we should be airborne. There we go. Awesome. Uh, that means that now I can work underneath. I, uh, I want to remove the excess baggage. So I'm going to take off the wheels and stuff. So first of all, I better uh, clean off my inventory a bit. So let's offload what I've got in my inventory. Because I'm going to take the wheels off there. Then I'm going to install the connector. these wheels will just get in the way when I'm doing the mining. Now, if I take this, uh, that side off, the light's going to come off it as well. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably best off just taking it off, but let's first of all deal with our connector. So I'm going to need to grind that off. Oh, no, I didn't need to grind that one up. One of these. Trying to be careful not to wall the grind. Very easy to get carried away. Okay. Right, G, I want a connector, which is there. So, put that there, seven. Like that. Get that welded up. Need uh, mortar and computers. There we go. That's now installed. And that's connected up to the uh, storage, which runs through the cockpit. And we'll actually we'll we'll put the uh, mining drill on the front. So I think 
first of all, what actually, what I'll do, might install a new, just for now, install one of these. And let's rotate it. Pop that down there. Just so I'm not constantly having it airborne while I'm working on it. So let's go on here. I'm going to have to G. And then I want the landing gear. Let's put that there. Toggle. Oh, actually, no. Uh, switch lock. And yeah, we'll worry about the rest of it later. So it's locked. Alrighty. So we touched down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these lights for now. And then I'll just reinstall them. I can rest probably install them on either side of the cockpit there. It's just so I can get rid of this excess weight at the side here. Because it's kind of unnecessary now. Okay, so they're out of the way now. It kind of leaves it a bit naked on either side, really. Get rid of that block. It's just dwindling around in there. So it kind of leaves it a bit naked on our, um, on the sides here. So I could probably do with tidying that up. Which I'm... Um, yeah. I think... Just to polish it up a, a bit. No, I didn't want to grind things off. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smarten this up a bit and we'll be RB. Alright, just doing a couple of little tiny tweaks on it. And I think what I'm going to do to balance this out, I'm going to install an additional battery into it. So that way I don't have to worry about battery life. But I think what I need to do is I need to just... Yeah, that's they're already welded so it just I wasn't too sure. Right, so if I go in there, I'm going to put another battery in there. Uh, get that welded up. I'm going to need 20 power cells. It's just that way I can be sure that I'm going to have enough um, power to keep me going for a while. Oh, yeah, I realised I'm out of iron. Oh, right. Yeah, so I'm going to need more iron. So I will need to send this out eventually anyway. I haven't... I missed the beat. Oh! No! Stupid! Um. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, nothing happened. Honest. Um... Yeah, okay, we're back anyway. Uh, right, so, next step. The, yeah, because of my serious lack of iron. Um, I've got a lot of steel plates. What would I need to make the um, make big refinery? Actually, i tell you what. Let's uh, take this out, go and get some uh, um, the, the, the materials, and we'll be RB. Right, we're actually back. I haven't gone anywhere. I realised I missed something. I will need a gyro. I am going to have a hard time doing anything without a gyroscope in it. So, that's just... Mind that, grind that out. Right, I want to go in here. I'm going to need a gyroscope. I was just about to fly then. I thought, why were it turning? And then it just dawned on me. You nupty, if you didn't install a gyroscope. So we can get one in there. Get that back welded up. Right. Want to install the drill on the front like that. Just need mortar and computer. Actually, we'll just need one computer to complete this. So let's go and get that computer, and then maybe I can stop being thick long enough to uh, actually do what I'm supposed to be doing. 
And then what will have to do a couple of little configurations with that drill. Nothing major. Get a board. And G. And then I want to go to block tools. Because I want to have my drill there. If I if I were to uh, use the block, uh, drill from here. That would uh, only allow me to like turn the drill on and off. But by using block tools. That means that it actually works on my left and right mouse button. As in your know, like handheld uh, drill so that means that I'd actually be able to just do big clear outs very quickly so I'm gonna head over to the mine Ooh, we're in the air guys Yay! gotta be uh, relatively quick there because yeah there's something else actually I could do as well actually I could do with um, let's have a look yeah Let's go. Okay. Um, I want backward thrusters. Them two. Uh, and then I'm going to put them in a, in a group. Save. And then I'm going to go G. Uh, groups. Back thrusters. And then I'm going to have that so I can toggle it on and off. The reason being, when I'm flying... Um, by having them on, it's going to be constantly be fighting to push me back when I don't want it to. And that's wasted energy. As you can see now, uh, I've actually gone to one hour of battery life, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go down here. And I might actually have to configure the landing gear as well. So let's get rid of that. And... All blocks, landing gear. I'm going to toggle that off. So that way it doesn't try attaching me to the ground. And yeah, I'm going to start mining. We'll be able to. Right, we're back. Now, there are a couple of other things that I completely forgot to consider when I was building this. I haven't put an R detector on it um, for one um, I'm trying to, trying to think while I was out there I thought of the other thing that it was that I was forgetting and I forgot what that was <laughs> that's just typical me what I think I'm going to do uh, because the ship is already running a bit low on power so I'm going to put a temporary connector on uh, on the base so I'm going to put one of these down temporarily. This is only a temporary thing. It's not going to be used to transfer all my materials. It's just going to be so I can recharge the ship because I've got a lot of mining to do. Because I didn't include the R detector on uh, the mining ship. It caused me a few problems trying to find the iron so I've ended up having to just grind out the stone for now. Right, let's get this onto the Oh yeah, I want to assign the connector as well, actually. So five um uh, switch lock. Let's just bring her over here. Oh, no. Turn that off. Didn't want it to grab that. All right. Let's bring the camera in. There we go. So, five. Right. Now she can charge again. So, take that foot off in here. Don't really need it. Now, I'd actually already caused it a little bit of damage on the back. This is a very weak part of the uh, ship, to be honest. But, it's uh, better than nothing at this time. Very basic, very simply uh, put together. In fact, actually, let's get that R detector in while I'm thinking about it. So where should I install that? Now let's remove that battery. And better land with 
before I use all my hydrogen up. Let's go in here and I want the R R detector. It's not that. And can I fit that in there? I can, and I can have it facing down as well. Actually, I might just put it like that. The detector comp. Got one here from the last one that I grinded off. And then I'll... Uh, I will want to uh, build that battery. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that to charge. Uh, and then I'm going to head out later and get some more iron. And we'll be hobby. And we're back. Now, the miner's not too far off being uh, fully charged now. And I thought before I go on my next expedition out to actually gather some uh, iron... I think it's time to replace the ref refinery. Now, I've emptied it out. Uh, made sure there's nothing in it. I've put all the resources that I have in there. And if I calculate it correctly, I should have enough resources to build the new refinery. So let's take this one apart. Like so. And then I'm going to go G, I want the refinery, I want the the full refinery this time. So I'm going to put that there and let's have a look, see where the connectors are on it. So yeah, it has one on the back end there. So I could put that in there like so. And it should have connector there, connector there. And then I think everything else at the back is the upgrade modules and stuff like that. So I'm going to get this welded up. I'm going to need a lot more metal plate. Which, I've, like I said, I'm sure I've got the right amount of in here. There we go. New refineries online. It's huge. That thing's a monster. Um, notice it's busy already. What's it? What is it with refining already let's have a look so refinery all right so it's grabbed the um the naked oils out of the other one out of the cargo box and put it in so that's okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put that in there it's also grabbing the gold as well so let's transfer all these to there Let's check the state of the battery in this. So if I can find the cockpit. Ah. Right. Okay. Uh, battery recharged in eight minutes. Ah, oh, it's because I fired up the refinery. So, yeah, that refinery is going to take quite a bit of juice so what I'll do is I think I'll shut it down for now shut it down for now that can then make sure that all the power goes to the miner because I want to be able to get this airborne ASAP right okay uh, battery recharge in three minutes so yeah what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hold out uh, for a couple of uh, minutes Wait for this to fully recharge. I'll fire up the refinery again. I'm going to head out and grab a lot of iron. But this should be much more uh, efficient at uh, my, uh, refining the resources. Giving me a bit more. And also doing it faster as well. So yeah. Um, we'll be RB. And we're back. Now I managed to gather a decent amount of resources needed. And now I'm actually able to make that battery. I'm going to finish that battery up. Should be, uh, it'll add, it will add weight to the miner, but it'll also give it a little bit of extra juice as well, so it should last a little bit longer. So I think to balance things out just a little, uh, I might shave a little bit off this rear. It's not going to be a lot. But these are like somewhat excessive 
pieces. So if I can get that. Because these pieces on the back are hanging off anyway when I'm mining. They're just getting bashed and it's causing damage to it. So what I'm going to do is uh, sort of like shorten that up a little bit. Let's put... Uh, let's try and get that the right way. Like that. Uh, actually, I think I'll make it blue. Let's try and keep up with the theme. Um, and then, might just do. Uh, let's see, what, is it full block? Yeah, do a couple of full blocks going up there. No, actually, no, not full block. No. Actually, yeah, full block. And probably could do with probably maybe putting in a couple of hard blocks there. It's just so it doesn't look like the uh, the thing's free floating. So if I find the half block, so just put that like that and like that. Roll that up and let's have a look around the front. So the front of it, I'm quite happy with. It looks like it's uh, been held together fine. They're being held together fine. So it's not a really fancy design, but I don't want something that's going to be bogged down with too much weight of armor. If anything, I could probably consider shaving more off. Um, could probably shave it off here. But I'll probably save that for another time. Um, but yeah, we've done a pretty reasonable amount of work here. We managed to repurpose again the landing pod. And uh, it's now becoming a, our new miner. Which means that we can travel out more. We've got the brand new refinery up and running. Which is great. Which means that we can finally uh, mine, refine down those valuable ores. Um, like gold, which it has started doing already, but it's sort of like I'll rearrange the order. I've got loads of iron, I've got to be mining a lot more iron as well. Then I need to do a couple more little changes, like adding a new connector so, uh, so this can dock and just feed straight to the refinery. And then we've got to uh, work on how we're going to proper lay out this base. But I think we're going to leave it there for today. If I swing around and look at you, let's turn all that off. Yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. And um, yeah, I'll look forward to the next episode where we'll uh, do a few base modifications and other things. And really start delving deeper into uh, building more things. But if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. Like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. You see, it's like that. You hit subscribe like that, right? Woo! And uh, why not ring that little bell to be notified of future content? I'll catch you next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Woo!